Welcome to Stevens World UK. Today we're near Yeovil in Somerset. So today the Haynes International Motor Museum is part of my world. I'm not sure that this is what John Haynes had in mind when he created the Owner's Workshop Manual back in 1960. What we do know, however, is that back in 1985 he launched and created the Haynes International Motor Museum. So we've been given a map of the one-way system throughout the museum, so let's take a look. The Haynes International Motor Museum is at Sparkford near Yeovil in Somerset, England. It contains over 400 cars and motorcycles and a collection of other automobilia. The museum was established in 1985 and is an educational charitable trust. It's divided into 15 different exhibitions. John H. Haynes OBE was one such car enthusiast whose love for motoring was the driving force behind the hugely successful Haynes Manuals, which became the global go-to guide for car and motorbike owners. The first exhibition explores John's life and how the petrol-headed entrepreneur fed a new culture of hands-on enthusiasm for repairing your own vehicle. The words veteran and vintage are often misused. Broadly speaking, they cover the period from the dawn of motoring in the Victorian age to 1930. During this period, great advances in motoring were made, and we saw the birth of names such as Rolls-Royce and Renault, which are still familiar to us today. There are many ways you can consider displaying a large collection of motor vehicles. Here in the Red Room at Haynes Motor Museum, you can see a large collection of sports and grand touring cars covering many years of motoring and a broad range of nationalities.
as long as the motor car has existed, there have been luxury cars. Cars such as Bentley have become synonymous with high performance, quality style and a reassuringly expensive price tag. As motor cars play such a huge part in almost every aspect of our lives, it is not surprising that many of us form sentimental bonds with our four-wheeled friends. We often feel nostalgic for the past, and with such a large display of popular British motor cars spanning four decades, from 1940s to 1970s, there is much here to jog visitors' memories. In this section of the exhibition, you can see the inner workings of the car and find out exactly how it performs and operates. William Morris understood the need for high output and a low price if his products were going to sell. The Morris name was not just about cheap motoring though, as it would also be used in connection with the MG Mark, which would become one of the world's most successful sports car brands. Ferrari is one of the world's most recognised brands and conjures images of luxury sports cars designed to win on both the track and on the road. This interpretation of the museum's Ferrari display unveils the human side of the story, exploring the origins of the brand and the tale of the ambitious young Enzo Ferrari in both words and film. Ferrari is a beautiful, exclusive, exciting, expensive and desirable. You cannot believe the number of Ferraris there are in this collection. Next up, the Hall of Motorsport. Fittingly, this hall was opened by Sir Sterling Moss in 1997. This display features a range of competition cars of all shapes and sizes, taking into account the sport for which they were designed. Marks including Jaguar, Lotus, Elva, TVR and Ferrari are all here.
Next up is the exclusive exhibition from Williams F1 that explores the fast-paced world of F1 racing from all angles. Throughout the exhibition you can discover the challenges F1 drivers past and present have faced, both professionally and personally. Experience a Formula 1 race car from a driver's point of view in a cinema space and gain an understanding of modern safety engineering with a special display of a crashed Formula 1 car. Here in this collection you can get up close and explore the beauty, complexity and evolution of designs in a collection of Formula 1 cars that in some cases have won driver and constructor championships from the Mansell Red No. 5 to some of the more recent models. Williams has an extraordinary legacy, making them currently second only to Ferrari in terms of team statistics in the history of Formula One. Whether you are a fan or a bystander, adult or child, you will get a sense of the excitement, achievement, lifestyle and a need for speed as you uncover the story of Williams. Motorcycle Speedway was at one time one of the most popular spectator sports in Great Britain and was enjoyed by all the family. The death of Richard Forshaw in 1997 left a large and unique private collection of Speedway bikes and associated memorabilia in danger of being split up and lost. Since his death, the museum has been its custodian ever since, ensuring its preservation and ongoing appreciation by the public. As we look over into the American Dream section of the museum, we can see nearly 100 years of American dreaming in motoring terms. From the 1909 reliable Dayton to 2006 Chevrolet Corvette C6, the dream takes in cars from manufacturers such as Ford, Plymouth, Stanley, Cadillac and many more.
In Motorin's timeline, a desire for small economical cars is nothing new. The museum has gathered together some of the collection's smallest vehicles representing output from Great Britain, Germany, Italy, Japan and India. Naturally, there are quirky European bubble cars which stole a march on the British motor industry in the 1950s. When Britain caught up, it gave the world the classic Mini, which literally took the concept of the small car into another dimension altogether. In wheels around the world, this selection of cars highlights the truly international nature of their collection. United Kingdom, Canada, Germany, USSR, France and India are all represented. There was a time when made in England really meant something in the world of motor car manufacturing. Though well-known marks from exciting and glamorous days gone by still exist, what made them truly great is now somewhat lost in the mist of time. British motor and manufacturing, cars and motorcycles are represented not just here, but throughout the museum's collection. No automobile collection would be complete without a DeLorean. More famous for its slick looks and affiliation to the Back to the Future movies as opposed to its total performance and checkered past. As we leave the questionable Sinclair C5 behind, we finish at the Haynes Motor Museum gift shop for our last minute automobile memorabilia. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me and until next time, be safe, be good, be kind and be careful. It takes 24 hours for the world to turn once, but only 2 seconds to like or subscribe to see future content from Steven's World UK.